All right, there's, there's two people there, so we'll use the last two questions. Go ahead. Uh, hello. Hi. Uh, my name is Darian. I've been a partner for about a year and eight months. Hello. Um, I wanted to ask you a question uh, about talks in City Council, King Council, about uh, scheduling issues that partners have been having. Mm -hmm. I, I see now, after coming here and being underdressed and seeing the drums, that you have so much to think about global markets, uh, expanding products, expanding and innovating. Uh, and I can understand how an issue like this might fall to the wayside. But I'm but here to ask you, uh, first, if it's something uh, you are considering, it's something you're seeing, something you're looking at. And secondly, if it's something that uh, partners like me, uh, people who see the effects, the direct effects uh, of scheduling, could talk to you about it. Because you said yourself that uh, the, the barrier for being a helpful company is profit. And I honestly do believe that an investment in scheduling and consideration would result in profit. It would result in customer satisfaction and ultimately make Starbucks and the communities they help a better place. So is it something that Starbucks is considering? Uh, not only is it something we're considering, but I think it's at the top of our list to try and uh, create some balance between the pressure that exists on some people uh, who are having a difficult time with the schedule and our ability to schedule thousands of people. And I think what we now know is that we need a, a specific technology tool and technology resources to do this well. And so first off, uh, of all the things that we have collectively to deal with, there's nothing more important at any time other than the partner experience at Starbucks. Having said that, there are lots of issues that we're dealing with with 300,000 people all over the world. It's not an excuse. And I think some of the issues are some people uh, want part-time hours because they have other things that they're doing besides Starbucks, either a second job or going to school or working, whatever they're doing. And so Starbucks fills that need. Then we have other people who only want full-time hours and we're trying to satisfy them. And then the, the primary issue is making sure that we provide you with the schedule in advance so that you're, you don't have a short-term response and you can't make work. We understand the issues, we think they're critical, and I can promise you, on behalf of all of us at Starbucks, we are digging in on this and trying to solve it. We've made strides, and I think in the near term, uh, there will be a technology tool that we will have and our store manager will have that will give us more uh, visibility on the issue in advance and we'll have the problem solved. But the short answer is, and I think this is important, of all the things you see here, nothing is more important to anyone in the company than the experience our partners are having, full stop. Uh, I, I really do appreciate that and I, I honestly believe you. I, uh, I've spoken to software specialists, uh, I've spoken to, to local legislators, I, I've seen how it affects people uh, throughout this sector and the one voice I, I really feel is missing uh, are the partners themselves, the employees. I think they have a lot of useful things to say and I think if you let them, they'll talk a lot. Okay. Thank you very much for that. Thank you. Thank you.